My name is Dave Yates. I represent F.W. Baylor Incorporated, one of America's oldest mechanical contracting firms, which was established in 1887 in Jefferson, PA, and moved to York in 1900. Now, the services we provide are, are plumbing, heating, and air conditioning, and then from there we move on into energy conservation products. Today was actually pretty cool. We started the morning by tearing out a grossly oversized boiler that was over 300,000 BTUs. The home itself has a heat loss that's less than half of that. So that boiler short cycled quite a, a bit. And then to compound and make that even worse, it's micro zoned into three separate zones. So we know that that boiler short cycled a great deal. And even though it was rated at 80% efficiency, we know that boilers that short cycle like that, especially the old style cast iron boilers that are either on or off, which in effect is the gas pedal is floored every time the thermostat calls for heat, that sacrifices the efficiency of those boilers. So in reality, that boiler probably was operating in a 50 to 60 percent range and that would in all likelihood be generous. So what we did today was we took that beast out of this basement and in its place we put in a NHB 150,000 B2 boiler with a 15 to 1 turndown ratio so that it can go down as low as 10,000 BTUs. So I fully expect to see that in spite of the fact that there's a 15 percent difference in the ratings between the old boiler and the new boiler according to the rating plates, I fully expect that we will see a 30 to 50 percent actual reduction in energy consumption for this customer. Another consideration when you're dealing with products like this is weight. This boiler weighs 80 pounds, so it's the type of thing that one person can pick up and hang on the wall by themselves. The old boiler that you saw us take out weighed over a thousand pounds, so obviously there's a huge difference in the type of manpower that it takes to deal with these two products. As you can see, when we take out an older, large cast iron boiler like this, it takes more than one person to do that job. And today, since we wanted to complete this job in a day, we had more than one person working on the Navian as well. But this morning, we had pretty much a large crew taking that cast iron boiler out of here and then taking it apart outside, loading it on a truck, and getting it off to the junkyard. So this is two thumbs up. Some of the conditions that we take into consideration when we're making a change, pretty dramatic change from old style technology to the new style condensing modulating boilers. If we look at the fact that we're going to reclaim all this floor space, which can become storage space. We look for a good solid wall that we can hang the boiler on. And sometimes that means we have to build a partition. We look at the piping and today one of the things that we did was to change the piping, which was further out in the room. We brought it to the back wall, neatened it up, and set, us up, set ourselves up with a primary secondary loop and that allows the boiler to see the proper amount of flow through it at all times and it also allows our zone circulators to see whatever flow is required for the, the zones that they're connected to. So the beauty of that is that these two, this circulator and these circulators don't actually see each other hydraulically. So they're able to operate at whatever speed is required in all instances. So it's a, a pretty cool way to set up a system. Another great feature that Navian offers are these pre-built manifolds. You can see how tight and compact everything is put together on these. They save time, which saves money, and when you look at the value of the time saved versus what this cost, it's a net positive for us as contractors because we're able to move in and out and go on to the next job a lot faster. Having the primary and secondary piping already set up for us is a real advantage. Let's take a tour of this manifold so you can see some of the benefits that are built in. We've got drain valves. We have isolation valves for the circulator in case there's ever a need to get in here and do anything. We have another isolation valve. So we can isolate the boiler completely from the system. This was all pre-piped, so all we had to do was drop this circulator in. The relief is set up, and there's a port here in case we want to do anything in the future. But also, one of the nice benefits of this manifold, it's pre-piped for an indirect water heater. So when this water heater behind me fails, we'll be installing an indirect water heater and then the homeowner can enjoy the benefits of almost limitless hot water as well. When it comes to venting with modulating condensing high efficiency appliances, there are a number of products that are available. And for example, in this case, we're able to use two inch PVC and we can run a max of 60 feet with six L's on the two inch PVC or in excess of 100 feet with the three inch. There are other products available on the market today. There's uh, CPVC, but in this case we have a chimney vented water heater. The chimney was not available. 
we were able to sidewall vent. It was relatively easy to run this down through the house and go out through the sidewall. As, as an added safety feature, there's an exhaust temperature limiter of 149 degrees. If you were to exceed that for your return water temperature, then we would need to make a change from PVC to either CPVC or polypropylene, and both of which are rated for higher temperatures. But because we're on outdoor reset and because we know from our heat loss calculation that this house can be adequately heated at lower temperatures utilizing the baseboard and because of the changes that took place in the house over the, the last several decades, we know that we're going to be well within the temperature range for this boiler and that's why PVC was an acceptable uh, venting material. Other really cool feature that Navian has is this control box, this zone control box. So what we can do with that we can do up to six zones with that box and it is expandable. That control grants your customer at a glance the complete information of what's going on with their system. The previous boiler that was here had no programming. It was either on or it was off. It received a signal from the thermostat and it was, you know, floor the gas pedal, let's go forward. It's got to be minus 20 degrees outdoors. We need lots of heat. The difference between that and this boiler is We've got a program in here now so that we've got six fixed reset curves that are in here that you can utilize if you like that. And then number seven is actually my favorite, is the one where we can go in and we can modify the reset curve to match what we feel the home, in other words, we can custom tailor it to the home. And that's what we did today. We went into program number seven and we set the reset curve to operate from 95 degrees while it's warm outside. And when it's down to 14 degrees, which is the ASHRAE setting for our area, we're allowing this boiler to go up to 160 degrees at that point. But then there's a special feature beyond that. So if we're in a heat call for more than 30 minutes and there's still a call from the thermostat, boost kicks in. And that'll jump the temperature up an additional 9 degrees to help satisfy that zone. The advantage of controls like this, of course, is that it fine-tunes everything and brings the fuel cost down and increases the comfort upstairs. One of the things the NHB has is a priority control. If you're using an indirect water heater, you can set that up for priority and basically it gives a timeout for whatever set period that you program this control for. Part of today's code compliance deals with maintaining adequate pressure inside the boiler. So this doubles as a low water cutoff, but it also is adjustable so that you can set the boiler for anywhere from uh, four pounds. If it goes drops below, below four pounds pressure in the boiler, it'll shut down. You'll notice that there's no pressure gauge on this boiler. The pressure is registered right here, and it comes up as a digital pressure. So for instance, when we were purging to get the air out of the system, I was able to watch that digital pressure gauge ramp up to the point where I could get the air compressed upstairs, blast that open, and bring that air down here and get rid of it. And since we're pumping away from the expansion tank, we don't expect to ever be back here to bleed air again. Let's talk about maintenance because that's an issue that is often neglected in this industry. And for those of us that don't neglect it, it can sometimes be something that's an irritant to the homeowners because it can take several hours to do a cleanup and tune-up on a modulating condensing boiler. Navian has taken all that into consideration. They've got a dual stainless steel heat exchanger that really requires nothing more than a visual inspection each year. And on the intake side, there's a screen, a stainless steel screen that's back here that's very easily removed so that any bugs or anything like that that would be drawn in can be captured there. You take one screw off, you drop that screen out, and the other is to just check the condensate trap and the acid neutralizer media should be replaced every year. So really, all in all, it's a very simple process and very quick and easy for us to take care of this boiler for our customer. We like to use the Navian products for a number of reasons. One is product reliability. Two is ease of installation. We want, to, we want the product to you know, be in and be functional for a long time for our customers and it's going to be maintenance and trouble free. One of the great things about the Navian product line is its sleek design and appearance which your customers will find very attractive and That's a wrap.